getting more involved in the haunt. This is Scaring with Sammy. So during the season, people come up to me and they tell me how much they love haunting. They love the scaring. They've got the passion for it. And they want to get more involved. They want to do things with costuming and with makeup and with design. And they just want to feel more a part of it. Be, feel more like they are invested in and the haunt is invested in them. And there are ways to do this. There are ways that you can go about getting yourself more involved in the haunt. Now, I thought I'd do something a little different today. So instead of me just talking about all of these you know, ideas of how you can get more involved in the haunt, I thought we'd just ask somebody who's done it. And I have with me uh, a haunter who is on all the management teams and has done the actor training and actor coordinating and has pretty much done almost you know everything that you can do. And I thought, let's ask and see how he got there and how this all happened and see what we can learn from that. So I'm here today with haunter extraordinaire, David Jedediah Gracious. Oh, you're so kind, Sammy, thank you very much. <laughs> how you doing, everybody? Well, we would have had a, uh, an applause track, but this is not being done live. Well, so, yeah. okay. All right, you know, <laughs> yeah, there we I kind of set you up with, hello, and <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no, there's, there's crickets yeah, in the yeah, background yeah. here. Yeah, I've got a frog back there that's <laughs> going to interrupt us every once in a while. All right, so, uh, Dave, you, right now at Fright Nights at the South Florida Fairgrounds, you are part of the management team, and you do, and, and you have a lot of different jobs, a lot of things you do there, but you didn't start at Fright Nights, you started at... Enigma haunt. Yes, correct. And that was your first haunt. First haunt ever. Yeah. Uh, so you hadn't had any experience before that. No experience except for just passion of being home and scaring people in the neighborhood, <laughs> like most people. <laughs> like, 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 like you do. So, uh, but at Enigma haunt, by the time that it closed, you know, sorry, sorry, yeah, I, 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 I had to bring that back up. Always got to bring that back up. Uh, so, but by the time it closed, you were once again. You were, you know, I think that you were like like second in command. But you were in, you know, you were in part of the management and actor coordinator, actor training, uh, build, design, pretty much everything. When you th thought of Enigma Haunt, one of the people that you think of was you. So, I appreciate that. I, yeah. I'll, I'll take that responsibility, I guess. <laughs> but that was your first haunt. Yes. And you had not done a professional haunt before that. No. So how did you first get involved in with Enigma Hunts at all? Oh, well, I like to drink. Yeah. One first thing. And, that, uh, that, that's not part of the... Uh, yeah, the don't, <laughs> don't, don't follow me. Just, yeah, just don't. listen. <laughs> you don't have to do what I do. Um, at least for that part. For that part. At least for yeah, that part. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I went to a bar, and this bar was attached to a building, and... That building apparently just started opening up a haunted house, and they come out, and I see this very tall guy that's seven feet tall. He was Billy. He was one of the owners, and then his small wife, uh, like five foot whatever, four foot whatever, and they have face paint on, like skull face paint on. And then an actor that was going to be there gave a giant wedgie to this other guy that became an actor and close friend of mine, Jeff, and. Um, <laughs> Seeing that, I just gave him props on a wedgie. That was great. And then we decided, you know, we fought, I said that was awesome. What are you guys coming out of this door for? Oh, we're going to start a haunted house here. And I was like, oh, haunt. And I was with one of my great friends, Lawrence, at the time. He's like, oh, you need to talk to him, pointing to me. And so I was like, yeah, I'll talk to you guys inside. If you guys are going over, he's like, yeah, we'll be over in a little bit. So we, we I went, I met him inside uh, Nippers. Uh, that was the bar at the time. And uh, all of a sudden, like, just had conversations. I told him about, you know, uh, me and my mom did, used to do things growing up, little haunts in our, you know, in our house, in our neighborhoods, things like that. And so just, you kind of expressed a passion. Oh, big passion. Yeah. Just like most haunters. Right. Most haunters, they yeah. have a creepy, weird mm -hmm. side to them, whether they like haunts, <laughs> Halloween, scary movies, anything like that. But how'd you get involved? So you, you expressed the passion to them. Yeah, so they, I asked them when, uh, so when they were planning on opening, and it was close to October. Um, so... A week or two goes by. Uh, I had family issues, so I didn't wasn't able to make it during their casting calls. Mm -hmm. uh, but all of a sudden, it was like October. It was like the second week in October. It was their second week open, and uh, I show up randomly, mm -hmm. knowing that they're going to do a haunt first time ever. I'm like, I don't know what to expect. I have no experience, like we said. I had I had nothing. No, I had to act. I just, you know, love Halloween, love scary movies, love doing all of that. So I walked in, and they were very shocked to see me. Were, I was like, what do you need? And they were like, where, where do you want to be? I'm like, I have no idea. What do you have? And just put me wherever you want. And all of a sudden, they're like, well, we have a pirate area. We think you'd be a great pirate. <laughs> I'm like, 
all right, matey, let's go. Like, just put me in a room, dress me up, so, and let's go. So they just put so they put you in a room, and were you there for like pretty much the whole the, like the season? Or? Oh no, yeah. After that, I don't think I, I. The only time I missed because it was it was new to me, and I still mm -hmm. loved Halloween and everything. So I did go out and party on Halloween and mm -hmm. uh, downtown West Palm. I used to walk around. It was a uh, moon fest, I think it is, <laughs> down in West Palm, and I used to run around with a chainsaw down there, and then they kicked me out. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we, we went down there, and uh, I, I I was but, there most the majority yeah. of the season. Okay. I was there. So, but so you you went you were there during the season, and you showed up, and you you, you know, I worked. And you worked hard, and you and you worked the whole. Season. I started learning everything I yeah. can do, and in, in, in that in, one in, time in working with everybody around me. Okay, and so that season ended. So what happened after the season ended? Uh, well, it just season went after it would we you know we had a big bond at that point. Like mm -hmm. we were just a lot yeah. of happy crazy people that love scaring people and it was something very new to me uh opened my eyes in a big way uh and billy and karen and everybody that at the time were mm -hmm. phenomenal people it was just a great you is know it, 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 everybody will always say during sports or haunts right now it's the biggest thing it's family it's family and mm -hmm. at first yeah it's you know it's just a bunch of crazy people but then all of a sudden they were so you know polite and welcoming that and they, it, they accept your crazy and you accept their crazy. exactly they acknowledged but, me and I, I i was like all big into it so i reached out to billy right after the season was done and said so what do you need help with so after the season was done you reached out to billy yep. to ask about you know what what happened next uh so, i asked so, him so what, what he's building oh uh, and what does he need help with whatever i, I wasn't there for tear down he told me about right. tear down we had like an after party and stuff like that, like for the season. But. Okay, so the first time you were just there, just as an actor. Just as an actor. Just as an and actor. then during, before the next season started, you called him and said, "Hey, I want to do. I want to. I want to. Yeah, what do you need? What do you need? What do you need help with? And and when you reached out to him, so what did he do? Uh, Billy said, "Come on in, and we'll go through making walls and doing whatever we can do to get the other season going." So ideas of he, what he had uh, for the next season. So he needed, so they needed help, and you asked, you know, offered, and he just brought you in. Now but you. He also had an idea for me too. Okay. That that season is when uh, Jedediah actually came to life. I was talked to him about, you know, coming in and helping him build and everything like that. But then he also reached out to me shortly after our communication on getting him built, and he was like, "I actually have an idea of a position for you. I'm wondering okay. if you're interested." But. But he brought you in, uh, but you had asked about building. Yeah, and building. so, you know, he brought, he said, here, yes, we do need things that need to be done. Yep. And you showed up and you, you know, helped build. So you actually had some construction experience before this, or yes. at least some sort of yeah. building experience. Me and my dad were in construction. Right, you were in construction. Yeah. So you actually had a background, you had outside skills that you were bringing in. Yeah. But, but had you ever built haunted houses before? Not at all. So just was, little was, things, was this, just little things yeah. in the you know in the garage or something like that with garbage bags or just placing a strobe light or moving and stuff. So this was still kind of new. Oh, absolutely. So, uh, so were there a lot of things that you didn't know? Yeah, absolutely. And you know, did, did Billy help you out with that? Yeah, those? Billy helped me out. He would tell me why you know this is the path that they're going to be coming from. Mm -hmm. so you should have a door swing this way. Um, and so easy access for the so stairs. Right. So you like had, that. but you had the, the communication. Oh, there, yeah, the communication. And he would tell you, and you're completely okay with. Oh, that. absolutely. You, yeah. you, you. Took he the knew. Time. He yeah. knew. I had no idea no, what was going on. Right. So I, I was. It, but you were willing to learn. Is oh, absolutely. Point. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Billy. Billy was really passionate on making sure he he knew. You know, he knew exactly what he was doing. He had years and years of this at his house, and then he he was making the haunt. Uh, so going on a second year, he knew all the class. He took classes and he knew exactly oh, yeah, what him, he wanted. He was oh yeah, taking the ed education. Did you uh, spend time outside of the haunt actually learning about the haunt as well, or uh, on my own? Very little. I was usually with Billy and Karen when mm -hmm. I went into more and more and more. Right. Uh, but he did like he did offer me like a position that he had an idea for, and mm -hmm. because I am have a loud voice <laughs> to a certain <laughs> certain point. Um, he did say, are you okay with eating, uh, drinking fake blood? And yeah, I got you, a scene you, for you, and that's how Jed became a yes. character. And so, okay, so that was Jed. That was Jed. That was Jed, because I remember you were, in the middle, you were in the middle of the room, and, and you know, because when you came in as guest, because I was working outside at that point, uh, Will chased me around the room, and you were just sitting there, and I remember, you know, washing makeup off next to you, and... Just drenched. Just, just, just drenched. drenched. The whole room with. Oh, that was, that was like the only. That was, that was only like after build and there, all the talks yeah. off 
it was like me trying to build a character that he mm -hmm. was that they were discussing yeah because will did generate the room he's the one that really helped create Jedi. die yeah. so with that being said that's when i kind of started picking up things on my own a little mm -hmm. bit just to help out like what can i do for here and there so uh speaking of that so uh did you just take on tasks and find tasks that as, they needed? As whatever they needed to do, mm -hmm. I was there for. Whether it was, you know, cleaning out bathrooms, filling up water tanks, water towers for the actors going forward, painting, moving props, hanging props, doing whatever I can to help out. Because it was just, it, 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 was, it became a giant passion right after it, it, the first, first season. Yeah, things needed to be done. And, yeah, things definitely and needed to be I, done. I really don't even need to ask you this, but how was your follow through with, with these projects? They, they, they mainly got done. I would stay there as late as, I stayed there at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, making sure that the haunt was clean for uh, the fire marshals the next mm -hmm. day or any inspections. Uh, if Billy went home and I didn't think it was up to par, I'd be like, no, no, Billy, I'm going to stay and clean this up a little bit for you. So he could really rely on you as well. I mean, that's something, reliability is a, is a big thing. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I made sure that I, he, he knew and everybody else knew I had their back at that time. And so you were taking on these, uh, you know, these projects and taking care of all of these things. And then uh, how did you get to be the actor coordinator? Uh, well, their daughter was the actor coordinator and then she didn't want to do it for a season. So because of my voice and because I backed up, uh, their daughter, which their daughter's name is Jessie. Mm -hmm. uh, I was there whenever they were, right. everybody's rowdy at a haunt. Yeah. So using my voice, I helped her out mm -hmm. and I kind of brought silence and attention to everybody, for everybody, for her when she started training and putting everybody in positions. Sorry. You got stuck there I on the chair stuck, there? Yeah, my belt got stuck yeah. on, a, on, a, on a loop here. So. Yeah, it's a secret little uh, thing I got so no one can run away from me. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to ignore yeah, it. Just, and, yeah, just don't, don't worry, you're not so, going to go anywhere. Yeah. So yeah, she, she left and then they decided, they, since I was able to get everybody's attention, they asked me if I would take on the task. you were there and reliable, so I, when they I was there. somebody they could do or something, that's they kind of and then I then at that point pretty much I said I will be here every day going forward so I so didn't I didn't miss any days after th that. this this is a this is extreme dedication so and so and after that and then things kind of just progressed after that you because uh, yeah. then you got into like you know design and and all the building and you know actor training together yeah uh, when, you, when you joined uh, all of a sudden we were doing a lot more training mm -hmm. uh, and and that was great because I didn't I didn't I, I didn't have any experience so I was learning everything right. from you as much as possible and then you were just giving me the utmost props every time for some reason uh, but yeah we we're in the haunt and and we just started growing. Everybody started clicking. You joined, Freddie joined, mm -hmm. Katie joined. We I had mean, a, no, we had a we had a fantastic. Group. All of a sudden, it was getting really big. Yeah. So you, we went from not being having any experience in a haunt to being pretty much, you know, Mister, you know, Mister Haunts, or at least you know part of the. And that was, yeah, that was thanks to if, if we have that Mr. was thanks Haunt. to everybody else. I mean, that was thanks to you, Freddie, Katie, Billy, Karen, all of them. I mean. The passion and then the experience that you all had, and I was willing to learn it all. Mm -hmm. It was that was just the passion was there. So then I was like, I have to give it give it my all you for want, everybody. You, you wanted to, and you made it happen. And so I want to go through some of these points of some of the things that you did, so that we can all learn from it. So how we can get more involved in the haunt and grow our experience and grow what we can do in a haunt. So first of all, showing up, yep. working hard, the big one, being reliable. You know, not just uh, saying that you're going to do something and not do it. You expressed an interest. You took the time off season, not during the season when everybody's, you know, thrilled about everything and everybody's so excited, but even during the off season, finding out what else was needed. And I think that that's uh, an important, an important yeah. thing. In fact, I would say that if you want to get involved, that's the time. Now is the time. Haunts are starting to do all their, their building or if they've already started. They're putting together a lot of things. Now is the time to go out and talk to your haunt if you want to get more involved. You brought skills on your own. So if you have skills from outside that you can bring in, that is a boon to the haunt. Uh, we have so many different things in the haunt Absolutely. that need to get done if you have different skills. Yeah, my only bring. skills were the loud voice and I could I could, well, I could do I, some tools. I was talking about the tools <laughs> and the construction. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Loud voice right. and tools. I and loud do. voice. Yeah. Yeah. Don't discount the loud <laughs> voice. You brought in a skill from the outside, which is, which is fantastic.
and you were willing to learn, which is you know invaluable. No, absolutely. You have and to. You have to direction. take. You have to you know ask questions, and you got to be willing to learn. I and mean, and that and I think that that also increases your sort of value to the haunt because not only you're you're being willing to learn, and following through. Expressive so interest. So taking on tasks, you made opportunities for yourself when you were taking out just taking out the trash, taking you know, cleaning the bathrooms, all of these things that people don't think of as being well. This is part of the haunt. You were doing all of these things, so they knew you were there. They knew you were you had the passion. You were helping out in, in whatever way. Yeah. Any shape or form. And I, and I say this about people that are building. Even if you don't have any experience building and you want to help with the build, if you show up and you just pick up nails or you come to painting and you, maybe you don't feel like you have the, you know, the talents to really do all of the painting and distressing, you know, first of all, I'm sure the haunt was going to teach you, but take on tasks. You know, the paintbrushes need to be cleaned. I take on that task and now everybody knows that the paintbrushes get cleaned because of this person. And because you took on tasks and followed through, then when they had other jobs, like the actor coordinator or whatever it was, they said, here, Dave, we want you to do it. Yeah. Because they knew it would get done. So these are the prime things that we can do as actors to get more involved in the haunt. Show up, be reliable, express the interest, bring skills, be willing to learn, take on tasks. I would also add, don't cause problems and don't be a problem. Yeah, well, it's uh, going to happen. Everybody, too, it's, it's, too it's, many different okay. persons, too many crazy personalities. <laughs> but try, try, try not to prolong them or try not to cause too try, many. I it, guess it's still it's a giant passion. That's what we all know. <laughs> so the passion is going to run high. The main thing is that it's there's so many safety aspects of this. There's so many things to learn from it. So you have to be willing to think about this as a business. But it's the best business you could ever work for if you really love this. So if, you're, if you love you, Halloween, whatever it is, horror, whatever it is, and you meet most of these people that are in these places, I mean, you're having a great time. So if you're willing to actually be there and actually learn stuff, you're going to have just like a family. Yeah. You're going to, you're just like a regular family. Some yeah. people are going to hate this uncle. Some people are going to hate this brother, your sister, whatever it is. But if, but if you think of it as a business saying, you know, we're here because of the passion and I can get past that. It's, it's just one of those things that if you're going to get involved in the hunt, you want to start getting more involved in the hunt and, be, and have positions of authority and have your opinions on this, you do have to get past... Yeah, it's, uh, it's communication. It's communication. It's making sure you're able to talk it out, work with each other, and, and get past this. If you need to take it, and that's where, you know, there's different levels for every company, so... Every haunt industry has that. It's a company. So you we, have we to have, be able to go up to your different levels and saying, well, i got to go talk to this person because this isn't working out. Yeah, at, at this point, we're practically getting into a whole other uh, uh, conversation about the professionalism and yeah. everything. So uh, because this was focused on the idea of, of how to get more involved, and we kind of went through all those, uh, I'll, I'll you know, list them one more time. Showing up, being reliable, expressing interest, uh, bringing, skills from, bringing skills, bringing passion from the outside, willing to learn, take on tasks, make opportunities, follow through, uh, and be there and be available so that they know that you're there, so that you are, and you're already becoming part of the haunt. Absolutely, that's, that's, what, that, that's what we're doing this season, and right? That, or, and, isn't that what we're doing at that, Friday Night's That's time? the plan. We're that's trying to get plan. everybody together. We're trying to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to learn and for growth. That's the that's the best thing about this. And that is one of the best things about it. So uh, now at, at this point, I'm just stalling because I'm having a good time. That's great. So I don't getting, like, I don't like talking to this guy, but. <laughs> getting more involved in the haunt. Here with David Jedediah Grecius, this is Scaring with Sammy.